Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Pokemon TCG Divergent Powers tin. This specific tin features Hisuian Samurott. Now I did purchase the set of three brand new tins from Game Nerds for $59.97. Previously on my channel, I have opened up the tin that features Hisuian Typhlosion, and then I still have the one that features Hisuian Decidueye to open up. Now, in my earlier video, I had a few people comment that they were actually able to find the set of three tins all three of these Divergent Powers tins for even less than what I paid for them from Game Nerds. So if you can find them for $15 to $20 a piece, I think these tins are a very good investment. I like the promo cards and then the pack selection is very nice. So I'll take the plastic wrap off of the tin and if you'll notice, it's just a strip of plastic, which I'm not a huge fan of because once I open this up, the tin essentially the cover comes right off. So I don't know if you can see that real well on camera, but it's already starting to lift up. Here's a look at the tin without the plastic wrap on it. Of course, inside this tin, if I flip it over, you get one of three foil promo cards, in this case, the Suyin Samurai V, five Pokemon booster packs, all three sets very good, and then a code card for TCG Live. And there would be the three Pokemon available in this set of tins. Now, if you go to Walmart or Target, you're looking at MSRP's $24.99 for one of these tins. You're looking at $26 or $27. Now, if you buy them online, I know a lot of people are saying eBay is a good place to go. I know Game Nerds, for example, you have to put a certain amount of items in your cart before you can get free shipping. So here's one reason that I really like this set of tins the booster packs on the inside excellent two evolving skies a brilliant stars and then astral radiance and then i'll show the promo card here as well as give away the online tcg code card i'm actually recording this video on a sunday doing a lot of work around my house i just had new windows installed i'm going to touch up some of the windows before the trim is put on the inside so I'm just waiting for my daughter to wake up before I do some sanding and priming. I use my shop vac to suck up all the dust when I'm sanding, and that might wake up an eight-month-year-old baby. So SWSH239 for the card number on Hisuian Samurai V, a Darkness-type Pokemon, Basket, Crash, and Shadow Slash, the two attacks. Neither are anything too special. But as a collector, I was hoping to add as many cards to my collection as possible. And of course, the TCG Live, I've not actually played yet. I'm still on the trading card game online. So let's open up these booster packs. I'll open up the packs oldest to newest. Evolving Skies is a little bit short printed, but there's been rumors of a reprint coming in August. I do like all three of these sets very well. Rayquaza, VMAX. Really the best card you can pull from Evolving Skies. Lots of EV evolutions in the set as well. I know in the first tin that I opened up, the one that featured Typhlosion, my favorite of the three tins, I pulled out a full art Jirachi V, which I was very excited to pull. Four and then two to move the rare and reverse solo to the back of the pack. First pack of five starts with Lillipup, Dot, Pikachu, the mascot for Pokemon, Tentacool, Fletchling, Metal Type Energy, Shellgon, Ice Q, Full Face Guard, Reverse Solo of Ace Blue, just a common, and the final card, a Stout Land. On to the second Evolving Skies pack. I did actually go out of town this weekend, did some shopping or more browsing. Went to Mankato. There's a big mall there. I looked at the mall. Every single store that sold Pokemon cards there, GameStop, Target, Barnes & Noble, Shields, plenty of Pokemon cards in stock. So it, it does seem like supply is caught up with demand, and the price gouging definitely doesn't help the demand. Sableye starts the second Evolving Skies pack. Applin, Cutiefly, Timpole, Eevee, Rayquaza there in the sky, Psychic-type energy, Rabombi, 
Avalug, Ribbon Badge, Boldor would be the Reverse Hollow, an uncommon. Final card would be a Jump Pluff, a rare Hollow. Let's take a look at this card's ability, Fluffy Barrage. This Pokemon might attack twice each turn. If the first attack knocks out your opponent's active Pokemon, you may attack again after your opponent chooses a new active Pokemon. So pretty cool ability there. Unfortunately, spinning attack doesn't do very much, but a little bit more of a trick type deck. It's not anything that would win a tournament or anything like that. Now let's move on to Brilliant Stars, which I'm a huge fan of, the second newest main expansion out right now. Of course, Pokemon Go releasing July 1st for the trading card game. Brilliant Star is the first set to include the Trainer Gallery subset. Like that quite well. Still on the hunt for the Charizard V Star Rainbow Rare or the Charizard V Alternate Art. All right, the one and only Brilliant Stars pack starts with Gibble, Turtwig, Trap Inch, Piplup, Shroomish, Darkness Type Energy, Vibrava, Tropius. Claydol, Reverse Solo of a Mewtwo. This one is a rare, very cool looking card right here. And then the final card would be a Magmortar, bringing back Diamond and Pearl series days there. Electivire and Magmortar on the illustration there. It was after Magmortar level X in one of my openings way back in the day. I believe it was Mysterious Treasures. Diamond and Pearl series of sets, a very nostalgic series of sets. All right. Final two packs, the newest set in the TCG, Astro Radiance. Another set that includes the Trainer Gallery subset. First set to include Radiant Pokemon. Hoping for one good pull from these two packs. Really, one out of five is what I'm hoping for. Pull rates normally are about one in three packs to get something good in that rare spot. Okay, first of two Astro Radiance packs. Starts with Chadot, Magnemite. Teddy Ursa, Hisuian Sneasel, Mischievous, Psychic Type Energy, Grant, which I've been lucky enough to pull as a Rainbow Rare before, Switch Cart, a very good item card, except for it only can be used on basic Pokemon, Bisharp, Reverse Solo of an Energy Lotto, an Uncommon, Final Card, ooh, there's a beautiful looking card, a Full Art Trainer in Arita. Now, surprisingly, I've actually pulled this card pretty recently but no complaints from me pulling out a full art trainer search your deck for a water pokemon and an item card reveal them and put them into your hand so i'll take that look at that back to back tins in this set of tins having a full art card or better let's see what happens in this hisuian typhlosion booster pack astro radiance astro radiance and brilliant stars two fun sets to open up because even if you don't get anything good in that rare spot, you have potential to get something in that reverse hollow spot. Final pack. In this tin opening, then I'll summarize my pulls. It starts with Oshawott, Scyther, Stantler, <coughs> excuse me, Yanma, Hoot Hoot, Metal Type Energy, Super Effective Glasses, Bronzong, Duat, Reverse Hollow of a Mantine, a beautiful looking artwork on this card, a sunset right there, common rarity wise, and then the final card would be a Hisuian Overclone. I apologize about that cough there, I could feel that tickle in my throat most of the video, and finally I just had to give in and cough, but I'll be right back with the summary of the polls. So out of five booster packs in this Divergent Power Sin, three cards to summarize, a rare Reverse Hollow and Mewtwo, a rare hollow in jump pluff, then easily the best pull would be the full art of Arita. And then of course here's a look at the promo Hisoyan Samurott V. So that will conclude this video. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure you leave a like on this video and then subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And then if you would like to support my channel even more than that, you can find ways to do that in the description of this video. I have a Patreon out there. You can donate directly to me through PayPal or through the live chat on YouTube. 
or you can always purchase my book, Pokemon Cards, the Unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide. So thank you everyone for watching, happy Pokemon card collecting, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.